Okay, I'm gonna be taking apart this Texas Instrument TI-83 plus graphing calculator and hopefully putting it back together and still working. I have taken apart a calculator like this, similar to this, and all the buttons and stuff fell out. So hopefully that won't happen. And as you probably cannot see, there's, I don't have the right screwdriver for this, so I took my smallest screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, from my set that I got for 10 bucks at Lowe's. It's very good. Um, so, let's start with taking out the batteries. Then we'll start with with screws here. Comes out very easily with this. The annoying part is getting it out. See those are big. It's one down. Here, I'm gonna move this around. So it's better, so it's more visible. Okay, so we got one out. Go for the next one. Go number two. Can already feel it like giving way. Go number three. Number four. Good thing about these screwdrivers is you don't need to completely like move your hand all the way around. The this part spins with you, so and then this part stays still while this part is actually spinning, which is really helpful for small things, especially small electronics. So that's number five, and we got one more left to go. There we go. Let's have trouble with that one. There we go. Okay, so now, let's try to remove... Back. Maybe we need to also get that one out. Oh, this one's longer. Uh oh, hopefully I didn't break anything over there.
there we go. No, that's not where we go. It looks like it's starting to come out. I don't know why. This is so difficult. Oh, to keep me out of it. See something stuck, I guess? It's because should be going perfectly fine. Are we missing something? No. Here's my trick. Let's get another one. Or show it like this. It's moving a bit. Uh oh. Stupid calculator. Uh oh, do we break something? Oh no. Now we have to take it apart, just to make sure everything's functioning. Ah, there we go. Ooh, this is ancient. This is fancy. This is this paper where we see all those batteries. I don't even think this paper is necessary. But, oh yeah, so maybe it doesn't get ruined. Look, wee! That's pretty cool. So you have a screen there. I don't want to take this off. So I'm worried it might break. I, this is an expensive calculator. Probably like around $100. And I don't want to break it. But the only thing that's going to do more is the motherboard is going to come off. And all these buttons are going to come falling out. And we don't want that to happen. Because I could still sell this to some to somebody or on eBay for like 50 bucks because it's still working. So let's put it back to get this it goes over there because you want the screws there. Uh, um, I'll let you take a look at this for a minute. Again with the Green. Has little uh, hooks to keep it in, besides for the screw. So let's put that back. We have our million screws over there. And now we want to. But where was that again? We just went over there. How do we do this? I don't want to break anything on this. Is it that way? You just like snap it on, maybe? Snap food. Oh, there we go. Click, 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 click. Now I have to put this back in. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Okay, now let's put the screws back in. 
with our mistaken screwdriver. If this video gets a million views, I am going to try to explode this calculator somehow. I don't know how yet, but I'll do it if I get a million views, which most probably likely won't happen. Maybe I'll get a millionth of a millionth. No, I'm probably not going to get many. So, But if it does get a million views, I'm going to blow this thing up. So that's it, let's put the batteries back in, see if it still works. Or maybe not explode it, but for sure set it on fire and put like stuff in it to make it go nuts. Any bet it's gonna work? Yay! Uh oh, that's not cool. I cleared all the RAM. Oh. You know what sucks about this calculator? You can't see a thing. You have to. You have to put the settings lower so you can actually see it. Okay.